Let's go, new energy maxing video. And in this one, I hope I might be able to fix something that is already or about to ruin your life. And man, I'm doing this video because it has been that way for me and my life. You have to stop rewarding yourself for doing nothing. Or maybe even worse so, for doing shit. For doing bad habits, no work, for laziness and many other things that I will explain to you in the next few minutes. Because if you do this, you're inevitably about to ruin your life. That's just how it is. And it's better to wake up now and actually do something about it than to realize it in a couple of years, notice that you made zero progress, your life still sucks, you're still unhappy and then to regret it at that point. So maybe just take a few minutes, this video is not gonna be long, I'm gonna be quick, I won't waste your time, but this is one of the biggest learning lessons that I made in the last couple months and that can really, really change the trajectory of your life. So why am I even making this video? It's quite simple. Well, for one, I want to help other guys like me to have more motivation, better health, more energy, <laughs> but also because this is something I fucked up in the past. Let's just say it how it is. I've been rewarding myself for nothing, essentially. And I think this also really ruined my progress in life in general. What I exactly mean by that is simply to do something that makes you feel good, but that's actually not really good for you. And especially doing it when you simply don't deserve it. Now this is very bad because it fucks up your dopamine and it ruins your reward system, which I'll talk about in a few seconds. But for example, what this means is that you eat something shit, <laughs> like some processed garbage, some sugar loaded snack that you know is not good for you. It feels good, that's why you do it, but it's not really good. For example, what this means is that you have a delicious pizza for your dinner, even though you didn't do shit. Like you wasted all day. You played video games, scroll TikTok and have done maybe one or two hours of work. Maybe not even that. And then the evening comes and you're sitting there and I'm talking about my own experience here. You're sitting there and you think, oh, something nice to eat would be good now. Like I really want something that tastes really good. And then you get yourself something nice to eat, which releases a lot of dopamine, even though you didn't work for it. Let's face it, you didn't go and hunt the food and you also probably didn't put a lot of work in to actually deserve it. It's so well deserved. Or maybe you do a little bit of work early in the day, but nothing too focused, nothing too productive, nothing that really brings value to others. And then you get bored, you sit there and you think, ah, I'm kind of horny right now. Let's watch some porn. Why not? I want that. I want that dopamine. Or let's play some League of Legends. <laughs> so fun. Yay. And you do that even though you made almost zero progress that day, you haven't put in work to deserve it and you didn't sacrifice anything in order to get it. It's not looking good, babe. And maybe you can't fully relate to this. Then good, this video is probably not the right one for you. But maybe you do kind of see yourself in this. Maybe you've been on self-improvement for quite some time, but you didn't really make progress. And yes, that has been me for years. And I think it boils down to a big part to exactly this. You reward yourself, you do the bad habit, the unhealthy thing, which in general you shouldn't do at all. But when you do it, even though you didn't do anything to deserve it, it's really, really bad for you and your progress. You literally become addicted to the dopamine release. You fuck up your reward system. Like you get that dopamine release from scrolling TikTok, from watching porn, from playing video games or whatever else your vice is. Drugs are a big one too. But for what? For what? You didn't do shit. Now the fact that you should probably not reward yourself with bad behavior, like you shouldn't reward yourself for approaching a woman by watching porn later that day, but the fact that you get that easy instant gratification and that dopamine release for just opening a tab, for taking a pill, for spending money on the internet, which requires zero effort, which is not hard at all, but you get that dopamine release and you make your brain addicted to it. And then you want it over and over again. That's how addictions are created. This is such a big problem, especially in today's age. Drugs are becoming more and more prevalent. You see porn everywhere. You get trash food so easily. And you probably go on TikTok or Instagram anytime you're ever bored. 
But this is not normal and it also sets you up for big time failure. Because I've been recently reading a lot about dopamine and addiction and it is a fact that you are not supposed to get that instant gratification, that dopamine, for virtually zero effort. You reward yourself for doing nothing. But what our brains are used to, and it's been that way for thousands of years, actually since the dawn of humanity, you have only been rewarded for actually putting in the work. Sure, sometimes through some lucky fortune, you can get a big reward for doing nothing. But this was so rare. And usually what you had to do, and which is what our brains and our reward system is used to, you had to put in the work. You had to hunt that animal for food or go out and pick those berries. Or you had to become stronger to increase your social status or to do whatever to actually see some titties. You didn't just go on the internet and boom, you see more ass than Genghis Khan. And you actually had to put in the work to get a reward. You had to craft a tool to feel happy, to go for a walk, to read a book or whatever. There are countless more examples. And not just pop a pill, go on the internet, watch some porn, buy something off Amazon, scroll TikTok or whatever. I think you get what I'm trying to say. And this is super important for you to remember and actually live by it. I struggled with this too. But you have to stop rewarding yourself for doing nothing. Do the work. Put in effort and remove that instant gratification that takes zero work, time or, like I said, effort. You're ruining your reward system. You're showing your brain that it is possible that it can bring up almost zero effort to get dopamine which makes it feel good, which makes you feel good. And of course, your brain is going to tell you, especially if you do it over and over again, hey man, I'm not gonna put in any work. This is so simple, yet we seem to ignore it. The key to actually wanting to put in the work is to make your brain realize that it has to do the work to get the reward. And this is where we fucked up in this modern day. When you get dopamine from doing nothing by just going the easy way, playing video games, watching porn, the things I talked about already in this video, of course your brain will tell you, okay, we're only gonna do this. Why would I ever put in work? Why? What? Like. It's so simple and yet you wonder why you have no motivation or energy. And again, this is not against you, but I'm literally talking like to my younger self. Maybe to some extent still my current self. But make gratification hard. That's why do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. That's why that is so powerful. So just get your brain to work for pleasure. Do the work to get the reward and stop taking the shortcuts to make it easy because you're only gonna get addicted to it and will lose long-term motivation or energy. Trust me, unfortunately, I know what it's like. So please don't make the same mistake. Quit your bad habits and have much more energy and motivation for the good habits. That's how you start making progress. Okay, let's go.